In today's video, I'm going to show you the new feature which adds sounds when you're interacting with the foliages in the new update of the Interactive Foliage system. So let's deep dive and show you how this works. If you enjoyed any of the videos on this channel and if you're a fan, could you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button? Surprisingly, 85% of the people who watched my videos are unsubscribed. Your quick action of hitting that subscribe button will support this channel and as it grows, we will be able to share even more free content with you. Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you what we've implemented into the vast version of the Foliage Interaction plugin. So we've added the ability to play sounds based on an array. So if you go to the blueprints, data, data tables, and here in the data table Foliage data, double click on it, and here, let's say for the fern, which is a skeletal mesh, we have here an array of interaction sounds. If you open it, here you can add Q or you can straight add a wave file. So if I click over here, you can see here that we have a fern grass interaction sound. So if I hit play, you can hear the sound. If I double click on it, you can find out here the cue. And why we are using the cue, it is because we can have a control over the sound. We can do a lot of different connections here. We can tweak the volume multiplier, the pitch multiplier, and a lot of different stuff. If you want to know more about cues, go and check out some YouTube videos about the cues. So the idea here is to add as many sounds as you want here in the array. And from this array on random, when you interact with the fern, we will play a sound. There are also two important settings. The first is minimum speed for sound. So this is the minimum speed to trigger the interaction sound. If your character is walking below this speed, the interaction sound won't play. The next is the reset sound delay. So this delay is on the skeletal mesh and it will reset the sound so it can play the interaction again. So if you heard too often the sounds or too slow the sounds, you can play with these settings to fine tune your interaction with the skeletal mesh because each skeletal mesh has different kind of leaves. The next thing is for the static mesh, it is the same. You have the interaction sounds, you have the minimum speed and you have the reset sound delay. So those are the three new settings that we've added, the array, the minimum speed and the reset sound. And let me show you how this works. Right now you're going to see some sounds based on the character interaction. And if I stop, the sounds will stop. And if I start again to walk, the sounds will continue playing. If I exit the zone, no sounds will be played. So this is how it is working on the skeletal mesh. Let me show you on the static mesh based on the shader. So those are static meshes that use the shader and let me show you how it works. On each interaction, we will play a random sound, so this will add this extra polishing and filling into your foliage interactions. So right now with this version 1.01, .01, the interaction system is almost complete and you have every feature packed there in order for you to create your AAA game. The interaction system is pretty similar to Rockstar Red Dead Redemption foliage system. So you can achieve almost everything that Red Dead Redemption 2 has in their game for interacting with different forages like grass, bushes and trees. If you want to get this interaction system, it is available right now on FAB. You can find the link in the description of this video, or you can just support me on Patreon and get early access to every update of this system and other systems that I'm creating, like the water, swim, and ocean system. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in the next one.